If you have a pivot table and you'd like to show a distinct count, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how I was able to generate a distinct count on this pivot table on the right and how this is not available by default. So these are the steps. Now, if you see this pivot table, it already shows the count of department, but it doesn't take into account the unique values. If I go over here to the values settings, I'm not able to select any distinct count. So this is the solution for you. You need to go back and recreate the pivot table by selecting all of your data, going to insert and just selecting the basic options. But in here, when you are creating it, make sure to check this, add this data to the data model check box this is going to help us select where you want to put your pivot table hit ok and now i'm just quickly going to recreate what i had adding in the count of department and the city as you can see this is similar to what i had before but the catch is that if i do select the count of department now and go to value field settings when i scroll down i have this new option in here called distinct count and i'm able to select that and look at that i now have the unique departments per city in my pivot table. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one if you choose to subscribe.